What if I told you that the secret to unshakable mental strength has been around for over 2,000 years? According to the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Imagine transforming your life by mastering this principle. Today, we're going to uncover the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and reveal 10 powerful habits that can make you mentally strong. These practices have stood the test of time, helping countless people navigate life's challenges with resilience and grace, curious to know what they are. Stay with us until the end of this video to discover how you can apply these habits to your own life and build an unbreakable mind. Stoicism, founded in Athens in the early 3rd century BC, is an ancient Greek philosophy that teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means to overcome destructive emotions. At its core, Stoicism is about acknowledging that while we cannot always control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. This distinction between what is within our power and what is not is fundamental to developing mental resilience. Imagine standing in the midst of a storm, unaffected by the chaos around you. That is the essence of Stoicism. By focusing on things we can control, like our thoughts, beliefs, and actions, we can navigate life's ups and downs with a calm and composed mind. For centuries, Stoicism has been a guiding light for warriors, leaders, and scholars, helping them endure hardships and emerge stronger. Today, its principles are as relevant as ever, offering us a powerful toolkit to build mental strength and face our modern challenges with resilience. The first practice involves daily reflection. This habit is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and plays a crucial role in building mental strength. By taking a few moments each day to reflect on our experiences, we can develop a deeper awareness of our thoughts and actions. Imagine you are an artist stepping back to look at your painting from a distance. This perspective allows you to see things more clearly and make better decisions. Reflecting on the day's events helps us understand what we did well and where we can improve. It allows us to identify the triggers of our emotions and our reactions to them. By doing this consistently, we cultivate a habit of self-awareness that makes us more resilient to life's challenges. Think about a time when you felt overwhelmed. How might things have been different if you had paused to reflect on your thoughts and actions? Daily reflection is like a mental exercise that strengthens our ability to stay calm and composed, no matter what life throws at us. It's about learning from our experiences and growing stronger each day. So, make it a habit to spend a few minutes every evening to review your day. Ask yourself, what did I do well? What could I have done better? What can I learn from today? By incorporating this simple practice into your routine, you are taking a powerful step towards building an unbreakable mind. The second practice involves focusing on what you can control. According to Stoic philosophy, a key to mental strength is recognizing the boundary between what we can influence and what lies beyond our control. Imagine yourself as a ship captain steering through a storm. You can't control the wind or the waves, but you can control how you navigate through them. The same principle applies to our lives. By concentrating on our actions, thoughts, and choices, and letting go of worries about what we cannot change, we conserve energy for what truly matters. This mindset shift can significantly reduce stress and anxiety, giving us a sense of calm and empowerment. For instance, you can't control the behavior of others, but you can control how you respond to them. You can't stop unexpected events from happening, but you can control how you prepare for and react to them. When we focus on what we can control, we become more proactive and less reactive, fostering a sense of inner stability and strength. Imagine facing a challenging situation at work. Instead of obsessing over elements you can't influence, like another person's decisions or unforeseen changes, focus on what you can do, your preparedness, your response, and your attitude. This practice not only helps in managing stress, but also in making more effective decisions. So, the next time you find yourself stressed about a situation, pause and ask, what part of this can I control? 
How can I best respond to it? By making this a daily habit, you'll notice a shift in your resilience and mental fortitude. With each conscious effort to focus on what you can control, you're building a mental framework that supports strength and serenity, no matter the circumstances. The third practice involves practicing gratitude. In Stoic philosophy, gratitude is not just about feeling thankful for the good things in life, but also appreciating the challenges and adversities that help us grow. Imagine your life as a garden. Gratitude is the sunlight that nurtures every plant, whether it's a vibrant flower or a stubborn weed. By recognizing the value in every experience, we cultivate a mindset that sees opportunities for growth in every situation. Practicing gratitude can significantly enhance our mental strength by shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. It encourages us to appreciate the present moment, reducing feelings of dissatisfaction and fostering a sense of contentment. For example, instead of lamenting over a difficult day at work, find gratitude in the lessons learned and the resilience built. Instead of feeling frustrated about a personal setback, appreciate the strength you've gained in overcoming it. This practice transforms challenges into stepping stones for personal growth and fortitude. To incorporate gratitude into your daily routine, start by acknowledging three things you are grateful for each day. These can be simple things like a supportive friend, a sunny day, or the opportunity to learn something new. By focusing on the positives, you train your mind to recognize and appreciate the good in every situation. Think about a time when you faced a tough situation. How might your perspective have changed if you had looked for something to be grateful for in that moment? This isn't about ignoring difficulties, but about finding strength in acknowledging the positives that coexist with challenges. Practicing gratitude rewires our brain, making us more resilient and better equipped to handle life's ups and downs. So, make it a habit to express gratitude regularly, whether through journaling, meditation, or simply reflecting at the end of the day. This practice will fortify your mental strength, helping you navigate life's storms with a grateful heart and an unbreakable mind. The fourth practice involves voluntary discomfort. This stoic habit might sound counterintuitive at first, but it's one of the most powerful ways to build resilience and mental toughness. Imagine choosing to step outside your comfort zone regularly, much like a weightlifter gradually increases their load to build strength. By deliberately facing discomfort, we train our minds to handle adversity better. This practice can take many forms such as fasting, taking cold showers, or engaging in challenging physical exercises. The idea is to intentionally experience minor hardships so that when real challenges arise, you're not caught off guard. For instance, fasting not only teaches self-control but also helps you appreciate food more deeply. Cold showers can sharpen your mental focus and fortify your willpower. Challenging physical activities push you beyond your perceived limits, showing you just how capable you are. Embracing voluntary discomfort also helps in breaking the cycle of fear and avoidance that often accompanies difficult situations. It reminds us that discomfort is temporary and endurable. Think about a time when you avoided a challenging situation because it seemed too hard. How might things have been different if you had regularly practiced facing small discomforts? This stoic habit is about building a robust mindset that doesn't shy away from difficulty but faces it head-on. So, make it a habit to incorporate small acts of voluntary discomfort into your routine. Start with something manageable, like taking the stairs instead of the elevator or spending a few minutes each day in meditation, resisting the urge to move or scratch an itch. Over time, you'll find that these practices not only build physical and mental strength, but also cultivate a sense of confidence and resilience that permeates every aspect of your life. By embracing voluntary discomfort, you're preparing yourself to face life's greater challenges with a calm and composed mind. The fifth practice involves mindfulness and being present. In Stoic philosophy, staying in the present moment is crucial for mental clarity and strength. 
Imagine a tightrope walker fully focused on each step they take, aware of their balance and surroundings. This intense presence is what keeps them from falling. Similarly, practicing mindfulness helps us maintain our mental balance by anchoring us in the here and now, preventing our minds from wandering into worries about the past or the future. By being fully present, we can handle challenges more effectively and make better decisions. This habit encourages us to pay attention to our thoughts, emotions, and sensations without judgment. For instance, when you are eating, focus on the taste, texture, and aroma of your food instead of letting your mind drift to tomorrow's tasks. When engaging in a conversation, truly listen to the other person instead of planning your reply. This practice enhances our ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively, reducing stress and improving our emotional resilience. Think about a time when you are overwhelmed by thoughts of what could go wrong in the future. How might things have been different if you had focused solely on what you could do in that moment? Mindfulness helps us break free from the cycle of rumination and anxiety, creating a sense of calm and clarity. To incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine, start with simple practices like mindful breathing or a few minutes of meditation each day. Focus on your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, the sensation of air entering and leaving your nostrils. Whenever your mind starts to wander, gently bring it back to your breath. This simple exercise trains your mind to stay present, making it easier to apply mindfulness in other areas of your life. So, make it a habit to practice mindfulness daily, whether through meditation, mindful walking, or simply being fully present in your activities. This practice will enhance your mental strength, helping you navigate life's challenges with a clear and focused mind. By grounding yourself in the present moment, you build a resilient mindset that remains calm and composed, no matter what life throws your way. The sixth practice involves negative visualization. In Stoic philosophy, this habit is about imagining the worst-case scenarios to reduce fear and build emotional resilience. Imagine preparing yourself mentally for a storm while the skies are still clear. By visualizing potential challenges, you train your mind to remain calm and composed when they actually occur. The idea is not to dwell on negativity, but to familiarize yourself with possible adversities so that they lose their power to intimidate. For example, think about a presentation you have to give. By envisioning various things that could go wrong, like technical difficulties or forgetting a key point, you can mentally prepare how to handle these situations calmly and effectively. This reduces the fear of the unknown and makes you more confident in your ability to adapt. Negative visualization also helps us appreciate what we have by highlighting the fragility of our circumstances. By contemplating the loss of something valuable, we develop a deeper sense of gratitude for it. For instance, imagine losing a prized possession or missing an important opportunity. This exercise not only makes you more resilient but also more appreciative of what you currently enjoy. Think about a time when fear of the unknown held you back. How might visualizing the worst-case scenario have prepared you to face that situation with more courage? This habit is about confronting fears head-on and diminishing their impact. To practice negative visualization, set aside a few minutes each day to think about different aspects of your life and visualize potential challenges. Consider how you would cope with these situations and what strategies you could employ to navigate them. This exercise will build your mental resilience, making you more equipped to handle any adversity with grace. So, make it a habit to incorporate negative visualization into your routine. By doing so, you'll find that your fear diminishes and your confidence grows, helping you to remain steadfast and composed in the face of life's uncertainties. The seventh practice involves journaling. This powerful habit is highly valued in Stoic philosophy for its ability to help us understand and manage our thoughts and emotions. Imagine using a journal as a mirror for your mind, reflecting your innermost thoughts and feelings. 
By writing down your experiences, you create a space for self-exploration and clarity, which is essential for building mental strength. Journaling allows you to process your emotions, identify patterns in your behavior, and gain insights into your reactions to various situations. For instance, when you feel overwhelmed by stress, putting your thoughts on paper can help you make sense of them and reduce their intensity. This practice also helps in organizing your thoughts, making it easier to tackle problems and make decisions. Think about the last time you faced a tough situation. How might journaling about your feelings and thoughts have provided you with a new perspective or a solution? By regularly documenting your experiences, you create a valuable record that can be revisited for guidance and growth. Additionally, journaling can serve as an outlet for expressing gratitude, setting goals, and reflecting on your progress, all of which contribute to a positive mindset and resilience. To incorporate journaling into your daily routine, start by setting aside a few minutes each day to write about your thoughts, emotions, and experiences. There are no strict rules. Your journal can be as structured or free form as you like. You might begin by noting three things you are grateful for, recounting the events of the day, or exploring your feelings about a specific challenge. By making journaling a habit, you create a powerful tool for self-awareness and emotional regulation. This practice not only enhances your mental clarity, but also helps you build a resilient mind capable of navigating life's complexities with confidence and composure. So, make it a habit to journal regularly. Whether it's through a detailed diary entry or a few quick notes, this practice will deepen your understanding of yourself and strengthen your mental fortitude helping you face life's challenges with a clearer mind and a stronger heart. The eighth practice involves embracing change. In Stoic philosophy, change and impermanence are seen as natural parts of life that we must accept to build mental strength. Imagine a river flowing continuously, never the same from one moment to the next. Just like the river, life is in a constant state of flux, and resisting this natural flow only leads to frustration and suffering. The Stoics teach us that by accepting change, we can develop a more resilient and adaptable mindset. Embracing change means understanding that everything in life is temporary, and that clinging to the past or fearing the future only hinders our progress. For example, consider the changes in your personal relationships, career, or health. Instead of resisting these changes, Stoicism encourages us to view them as opportunities for growth and learning. By accepting impermanence, we reduce our fear of the unknown and become more flexible in adapting to new circumstances. This mindset allows us to navigate life's transitions with grace and confidence, knowing that change, whether positive or negative, is an inevitable part of the human experience. Think about a time when you struggled with a significant change in your life. How might things have been different if you had embraced the change instead of resisting it? Embracing change can also help us let go of attachments that no longer serve us and open ourselves to new possibilities. To practice embracing change, start by reminding yourself daily that everything is temporary. Reflect on the changes you have experienced in the past and how they have contributed to your growth. When faced with a new change, acknowledge it and consider how you can adapt and benefit from it. This practice will help you build a resilient mindset that remains calm and composed regardless of life's uncertainties. So, make it a habit to embrace change as a natural part of your journey. By doing so, you'll find that you are better equipped to handle life's challenges with a sense of tranquility and strength, knowing that every change brings with it an opportunity for growth and transformation. The ninth practice involves practicing self-control. In Stoic philosophy, self-control is seen as a fundamental virtue, essential for maintaining mental steadiness and navigating life's challenges with clarity and composure. Imagine a skilled archer, focused and unwavering, drawing their bowstring with precision. This is the essence of self-control, having the discipline to remain calm and measured, no matter what distractions or temptations arise. 
Practicing self-control means being aware of your impulses and choosing to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. It helps us resist short-term gratifications in favor of long-term goals and well-being. For instance, when faced with a tempting but unhealthy habit, self-control enables you to pause, consider the consequences, and make a choice that aligns with your values and objectives. This ability to regulate our emotions and actions is crucial for building mental strength and resilience. Think about a time when you felt overwhelmed by an impulse or desire. How might things have been different if you had practiced self-control in that moment? By cultivating self-control, we gain greater mastery over our reactions, reducing the likelihood of being swayed by external circumstances. This practice also helps in managing stress and maintaining a sense of inner peace. For example, in a heated argument, self-control allows you to stay composed and respond with reason rather than anger, leading to more constructive outcomes. To incorporate self-control into your daily routine, start by setting small, achievable goals that require discipline, like sticking to a consistent sleep schedule or limiting your screen time. Gradually, these small acts of self-discipline will strengthen your overall ability to exercise self-control in more challenging situations. It's also helpful to practice mindfulness, which enhances your awareness of your thoughts and impulses, enabling you to make more deliberate choices. So, make it a habit to practice self-control regularly. Whether it's through mindful breathing, setting personal boundaries, or making conscious choices in your daily activities, this practice will fortify your mental strength and help you navigate life's challenges with a steady and composed mind. By mastering self-control, you build a resilient and empowered mindset, capable of facing any adversity with grace and determination. The tenth practice involves finding role models. In Stoic philosophy, learning from role models is a powerful habit that can provide guidance and inspiration for mental strength. Imagine having a mentor who has already navigated the challenges you are facing, offering wisdom and insight from their experiences. Role models can be historical figures, contemporary leaders, or even people in your immediate circle who embody the qualities you admire. By studying their actions, decisions, and attitudes, we can gain valuable lessons that help us build our own resilience and character. For instance, the Stoics often look to figures like Socrates or Cotto the Younger, whose lives exemplified virtue and strength in the face of adversity. By reflecting on their lives, Stoics could find practical examples of how to live with integrity, courage, and wisdom. Think about someone you admire from history or your own life. What qualities do they possess that you would like to cultivate in yourself? How did they handle difficult situations and what can you learn from their approach? By identifying these role models and regularly reflecting on their examples, we can draw inspiration and encouragement to face our own challenges with greater confidence. This practice not only provides a blueprint for virtuous living, but also reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles. Others have faced similar trials and emerged stronger and so can we. To incorporate this habit into your daily routine, start by selecting a few role models who resonate with you, read about their lives, their struggles, and their triumphs. Reflect on their examples and consider how you can apply their lessons to your own life. You might even write down quotes or stories about them that inspire you, revisiting them whenever you need a boost of motivation or clarity. By making this a habit, you'll find that you have a wellspring of wisdom and strength to draw upon, helping you navigate life's uncertainties with a composed and resilient mind. So, make it a habit to learn from role models regularly. Whether through biographies, documentaries, or personal mentors, this practice will provide you with valuable insights and inspiration, helping you build an unbreakable mind. One modern-day example of someone who embodies these stoic habits is Tim Ferriss, an entrepreneur, author, and public speaker known for his work in self-improvement and productivity. Tim has openly discussed how he applies stoic principles in his daily life to foster mental strength and resilience, 
For instance, Tim practices daily reflection by journaling every morning, which he refers to as his morning pages. This habit helps him clear his mind, set clear intentions for the day, and reflect on his thoughts and emotions, much like the stoic practice of daily reflection. He also focuses on what he can control, a principle he frequently mentions in his interviews and writings. By concentrating on his actions and decisions rather than external events, Tim reduces his stress and maintains a sense of calm and control, especially in high-pressure situations. Practicing gratitude is another key habit for Tim. He often emphasizes the importance of being thankful for both the positives and challenges in life as they contribute to personal growth. Tim's approach to voluntary discomfort is well documented in his experiments with intermittent fasting, cold exposure, and rigorous physical challenges. These practices have helped him build mental toughness and resilience, preparing him to handle real-life adversities with greater ease. Mindfulness and being present are integral to Tim's routine as well. He practices meditation and mindfulness exercises to stay grounded and focused, enabling him to make thoughtful decisions and maintain mental clarity. Tim also engages in negative visualization by contemplating potential challenges and setbacks in his projects and ventures. This mental preparation reduces his fear of failure and enhances his confidence in navigating unforeseen circumstances. Journaling is a cornerstone of Tim's self-reflection practice. He uses this tool to process his thoughts, set goals, and track his progress, mirroring the stoic habit of journaling to understand and manage one's thoughts and emotions. Embracing change is evident in Tim's career and personal life. He adapts to new opportunities and shifts in his environment with a flexible mindset, viewing change as a chance for growth rather than a source of anxiety. Practicing self-control is another area where Tim excels. He sets clear boundaries and disciplines himself to follow through on his commitments, whether it's adhering to a strict writing schedule or maintaining healthy habits. Lastly, Tim finds inspiration from role models like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, whose teachings he frequently references and applies in his own life. By studying their examples, he gains valuable insights into living a virtuous and resilient life. Through these practices, Tim Ferriss demonstrates how stoic habits can be applied in the modern world to build mental strength, navigate challenges, and achieve personal and professional success. His example shows that by incorporating these timeless principles into our daily routines, we too can cultivate an unbreakable mind and face life's uncertainties with confidence and composure. Let's take a quick break for a reflection exercise. Think about the habit of focusing on what you can control. Imagine a recent situation where you felt stressed or overwhelmed. Maybe it was a tough day at work, an argument with a friend, or an unexpected change in plans. Now, visualize that moment in detail. As you do, ask yourself, what was within my control in that situation? Was it my actions, my words, my attitude? What was beyond my control? Perhaps it was someone else's behavior, the weather, or an unforeseen event. Picture yourself steering a ship through a storm. You can't control the wind or the waves, but you can adjust your sails and navigate carefully. As you reflect on this, notice how your perspective shifts. By focusing on what you can control, you conserve your energy and reduce your stress. This exercise helps you see that even in challenging moments, you have the power to choose your response. Now think about how you can apply this insight moving forward. The next time you face a stressful situation, remember to pause and identify what you can control. This simple shift in focus can make a big difference in how you handle life's ups and downs. So, give it a try and see how this stoic practice can strengthen your mental resilience. One common misconception about stoicism is that it encourages suppressing or ignoring emotions. In reality, Stoicism teaches us to acknowledge our emotions without letting them control us. Imagine a seasoned sailor who stays calm while navigating rough waters, recognizing the power of the waves but not allowing them to dictate his course. 
Stoicism is not about being emotionless. It's about understanding our emotions and responding to them rationally. This approach fosters emotional intelligence and resilience, helping us manage our feelings constructively. Another misunderstanding is that Stoicism promotes a passive acceptance of life's circumstances. On the contrary, Stoics advocate for proactive engagement with the world around us, focusing on what we can control, such as our actions, thoughts, and decisions. This empowers us to take meaningful steps towards our goals rather than resigning ourselves to fate. Think of a gardener tending to their plants. They can't control the weather, but by diligently watering and nurturing their garden, they influence its growth. Stoicism teaches us to be active participants in our lives, making thoughtful choices and taking responsible actions. There's also a belief that Stoicism is a pessimistic philosophy that fixates on worst-case scenarios. While Stoics do practice negative visualization, this technique is meant to prepare the mind for possible challenges and reduce fear. It's like an athlete training rigorously to be ready for any competition, building confidence through preparation. By contemplating potential adversities, Stoics become more resilient and appreciative of the present moment, not more fearful. Finally, some people think Stoicism is a detached and solitary practice. In fact, Stoicism values community and relationships, encouraging us to contribute positively to society. Stoics believe that by improving ourselves, we can better serve others. Picture a tree with deep roots and strong branches, providing shelter and fruit to those around it. Stoicism nurtures personal growth while fostering a sense of connection and responsibility towards others. By addressing these misconceptions, we see that Stoicism is a dynamic and empowering philosophy. It promotes emotional intelligence, proactive engagement, realistic preparation, and community involvement, all of which contribute to mental strength and resilience. Understanding these principles allows us to apply Stoic wisdom effectively, helping us navigate life's challenges with clarity and composure. Tying these habits together, we see how each practice complements and enhances the others, collectively contributing to a mentally strong mindset. Imagine assembling a puzzle where each piece adds to a complete and coherent picture of resilience and strength. Daily reflection serves as the foundation, providing insights into our thoughts and actions, much like a gardener regularly tending to their plants. This awareness helps in focusing on what we can control, ensuring that our energy is directed towards productive and impactful actions. When we focus on what we can control, we create a sense of stability that is further strengthened by practicing gratitude. Gratitude shifts our perspective, allowing us to see the positives in every situation, which in turn makes us more accepting of voluntary discomfort. Embracing discomfort trains us to handle adversity with grace, which is essential for maintaining mindfulness and staying present in the moment. Mindfulness enriches our daily reflections and helps us focus on controllable aspects, closing a powerful feedback loop. Negative visualization prepares us mentally for challenges, reducing fear and enhancing our ability to stay grounded in the present. This preparedness is recorded and analyzed through journaling, which deepens our self-understanding and reinforces the lessons learned from each experience. Embracing change naturally follows as our mindfulness and gratitude equip us to adapt and grow from every transition. Practicing self-control ensures that we remain disciplined and focused, avoiding distractions and impulsive reactions. Lastly, finding role models offers us practical examples and inspiration, showing us how these habits can be applied successfully in real life. By studying their lives, we see how each habit supports the others, creating a cohesive strategy for mental strength. Imagine a sturdy tree with deep roots and strong branches, nourished by each of these practices. The roots represent our foundational habits like daily reflection and mindfulness, while the branches symbolize our actions and responses, shaped by self-control and gratitude. The leaves and fruits are our growth and achievements, supported by the wisdom of role models and the resilience gained from voluntary discomfort and negative visualization. 
Each habit is interwoven, creating a resilient network that supports our mental strength. So, as we integrate these 10 stoic habits into our daily lives, we build an unbreakable mind capable of navigating life's challenges with resilience and grace. By seeing how they interconnect, we appreciate the holistic approach Stoicism offers, helping us cultivate a robust and composed mindset. Now, let's dive into some common questions you might have about implementing these Stoic habits in your daily life. Question 1. How do I start incorporating daily reflection if I'm not used to it? Great question. Begin by setting aside just five minutes each evening to sit quietly and think about your day. Ask yourself simple questions like, what went well today? What didn't go as planned? What can I learn from these experiences? Even a brief moment of reflection can provide valuable insights and help you build the habit over time. Question 2. How do I focus on what I can control when I'm overwhelmed by stress? It's all about taking a step back and breaking down the situation. List out what aspects are within your control, such as your actions, thoughts, and responses. Then, identify what is beyond your control. By doing this, you can shift your energy towards what you can influence, which will help reduce stress and give you a sense of empowerment. Question 3. How can I practice gratitude when I'm feeling down? Start with the basics. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for, no matter how small they seem. It could be something as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, or a moment of peace. Over time, this practice will help shift your focus from what's lacking to what you have, boosting your overall mood and resilience. Question 4. How do I embrace voluntary discomfort without feeling overwhelmed? Start small. Choose manageable challenges like taking a cold shower for a few minutes or fasting for a part of the day. Gradually increase the difficulty as you build your tolerance. Remember, the goal is to train your mind to handle discomfort, not to overwhelm yourself. Celebrate small victories and recognize your growth along the way. Question 5. How can I practice mindfulness in a busy schedule? You don't need long meditation sessions to practice mindfulness. Incorporate it into your daily activities by being fully present in whatever you're doing. Whether you're eating, walking, or talking to someone, focus on the moment without letting your mind wander. Even a few minutes of mindful breathing can make a big difference in your mental clarity and emotional balance. Question 6. How do I visualize the worst-case scenarios without becoming pessimistic? The key is to approach negative visualization as a mental exercise to build resilience, not to dwell on negativity. Imagine potential challenges briefly and then shift your focus to how you would handle them effectively. This prepares your mind for adversity and reduces the fear of the unknown, making you more confident and composed. Question 7. How do I start journaling if I'm not a natural writer? Journaling doesn't have to be perfect or even structured. Start by jotting down your thoughts, feelings and experiences as they come. Use prompts like, what am I feeling right now? What challenges did I face today? What am I grateful for? The more you practice, the easier it will become, and soon you'll find it to be a valuable tool for self-reflection and growth. Question 8. How do I embrace change when it feels scary? Acknowledge your feelings about the change first. Then, remind yourself that change is a natural part of life and an opportunity for growth. Reflect on past changes that have led to positive outcomes. By focusing on adaptability and seeing change as a chance to learn, you'll find it easier to embrace new situations with a resilient mindset. Question 9. How can I develop self-control when faced with strong temptations? Start by setting small, achievable goals that require discipline. For example, commit to reducing your screen time by 10 minutes each day or practicing mindful breathing when you face a craving. Gradually increase the difficulty of these goals as you build your self-control. Remember, self-control is a muscle that strengthens with consistent practice. Question 10. How do I find the right role models for inspiration? Look for individuals whose qualities and achievements resonate with you. 
They could be historical figures, contemporary leaders, or even people in your own life. Read about their experiences, reflect on their actions, and consider how you can apply their lessons to your own journey. Having role models provides guidance and motivation to cultivate a virtuous and resilient life. By addressing these common questions, we hope to provide you with practical insights and encouragement to start integrating stoic habits into your daily routine. Remember, the journey to mental strength is a continuous process of growth and learning. Keep exploring, practicing, and reflecting, and you'll find yourself becoming more resilient and composed with each passing day. Practical tips incorporating these habits into your routine may seem daunting at first, but with some practical steps, you can smoothly integrate them into your daily life and start building mental strength. Let's break them down one by one. For daily reflection, begin by setting aside just five minutes each evening to sit quietly and think about your day. Use simple questions as prompts like, what went well today? What didn't go as planned? What can I learn from these experiences? You can also use a journal for this reflection, jotting down your thoughts to create a written record you can revisit. When focusing on what you can control, start by identifying and listing the aspects of a stressful situation that are within your control and those that are not. Concentrate your efforts and energy on the things you can influence, such as your responses and actions, and consciously let go of worries about the uncontrollable elements. To practice gratitude, make it a habit to write down three things you're grateful for each day, no matter how small they seem. This can be as simple as feeling grateful for a delicious meal, a kind word from a friend, or a moment of peace. These small acknowledgements will gradually shift your focus from what's lacking to what you have, enhancing your overall mood and resilience. Embracing voluntary discomfort can start with manageable challenges like taking a cold shower for a few minutes or fasting for part of the day. Gradually increase the difficulty as you build your tolerance. Remember, the goal is to train your mind to handle discomfort, not to overwhelm yourself. Celebrate small victories and recognize your growth along the way. For practicing mindfulness, you don't need long meditation sessions. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily activities by being fully present in whatever you're doing. Focus on the moment, whether you're eating, walking, or talking to someone, and try not to let your mind wander. Even a few minutes of mindful breathing can make a big difference in your mental clarity and emotional balance. With negative visualization, spend a few minutes each day imagining potential challenges or worst-case scenarios briefly, then shift your focus to how you would handle them effectively. This prepares your mind for adversity and reduces the fear of the unknown, making you more confident and composed. To start journaling, don't worry about being perfect or having a structured format. Simply jot down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences as they come. Use prompts like, what am I feeling right now? What challenges did I face today? What am I grateful for? Over time, you'll find journaling to be a valuable tool for self-reflection and growth. When embracing change, acknowledge your feelings about the change first. Then, remind yourself that change is a natural part of life and an opportunity for growth. Reflect on past changes that have led to positive outcomes and try to focus on adaptability and seeing change as a chance to learn. For developing self-control, start by setting small, achievable goals that require discipline, like reducing your screen time by 10 minutes each day or practicing mindful breathing when you face a craving. Gradually increase the difficulty of these goals as you build your self-control. Remember, self-control is a muscle that strengthens with consistent practice. Finally, to find the right role models for inspiration, look for individuals whose qualities and achievements resonate with you. They could be historical figures, contemporary leaders, or even people in your own life. Read about their experiences, reflect on their actions, and consider how you can apply their lessons to your own journey. Having role models provides guidance and motivation to cultivate a virtuous and resilient life. 
By following these practical tips, you'll be able to integrate these stoic habits into your daily routine effectively. Remember, the journey to mental strength is a continuous process of growth and learning. Keep exploring, practicing, and reflecting, and you'll find yourself becoming more resilient and composed with each passing day. The challenges in adopting these habits may initially seem daunting, but with the right strategies, you can overcome them and integrate these practices into your life effectively. One common challenge is the lack of time. In our busy schedules, finding time for daily reflection or mindfulness can be difficult. The solution is to start small. Dedicate just a few minutes each day to these practices. For instance, you can reflect on your day during your evening commute or practice mindfulness while doing a routine task like brushing your teeth. By incorporating these habits into your existing routines, you make them more manageable. Another challenge is maintaining consistency. It's easy to start a new habit, but sticking with it can be tough. To address this, set specific, achievable goals and track your progress. Use a habit tracker or journal to record your daily practices. Celebrating small wins can also boost your motivation. Recognize and reward yourself for staying consistent. No matter how small the effort, dealing with discomfort is another hurdle. Practices like voluntary discomfort and negative visualization can be intimidating. Begin with small steps and gradually increase the intensity as you build resilience. Remember, the goal is to strengthen your mental toughness, not to overwhelm yourself. Embrace discomfort as a means to grow stronger. Resistance to change is another common obstacle. Embracing change requires a shift in mindset, which can be challenging. Start by acknowledging your fears and uncertainties. Reflect on past changes and how they have led to personal growth. Practice self-compassion and remind yourself that change is a natural part of life. Developing self-control can also be difficult, especially when faced with strong temptations. To build self-control, set clear, achievable goals and create strategies to manage impulses. For example, if you want to reduce screen time, set specific limits and find alternative activities to keep you engaged. Practicing mindfulness can help you become more aware of your impulses and make conscious choices. Finding suitable role models may also be challenging. Look for individuals whose qualities and achievements resonate with you. They could be historical figures, contemporary leaders, or even people in your immediate circle. Read about their experiences and reflect on their actions. By learning from their examples, you can draw inspiration and guidance for your own journey. To overcome these challenges, it's important to be patient and persistent. Adopting new habits takes time and effort, but the benefits of building mental strength and resilience are well worth it. By starting small, setting achievable goals, and tracking your progress, you can integrate these stoic habits into your daily routine effectively. Remember, the journey to mental strength is a continuous process of growth and learning. Keep exploring, practicing, and reflecting, and you'll find yourself becoming more resilient and composed with each passing day. Let's explore some real-world examples of individuals who have successfully integrated these Stoic habits into their lives, demonstrating the power and impact of Stoic philosophy. One such individual is Admiral James Stockdale, a highly decorated United States Navy officer and Vietnam War prisoner of war. Stockdale credited his survival and resilience largely to Stoic principles. During his time in captivity, he endured severe torture and years of solitary confinement. He drew upon the teachings of Epictetus, focusing on what he could control, his mind and his reactions. By accepting his situation and concentrating on maintaining his integrity and honor, Stockdale was able to endure unimaginable hardships with remarkable mental strength. His story illustrates how focusing on what we can control can provide inner stability even in the most trying circumstances. Another example is J.K. Rowling, the famous author of the Harry Potter series. 
Before achieving literary success, Rowling faced numerous rejections from publishers, financial struggles, and personal setbacks. She has openly spoken about how practicing gratitude helped her maintain perspective and resilience during those challenging times. By appreciating small positives in her life, such as the support of friends and the joy of writing, she was able to persevere. Rowling's story highlights the transformative power of gratitude in cultivating a resilient mindset. Entrepreneur and author Ryan Holiday is a modern advocate of Stoicism who has integrated Stoic habits into his personal and professional life. He practices daily reflection through journaling where he examines his thoughts, actions and decisions. This habit helps him stay grounded and focused on his goals. Holiday also embraces voluntary discomfort by regularly engaging in challenging activities such as intense physical training and cold exposure. These practices build his mental toughness and prepare him to handle adversity with calm and composure. His success as a writer and business strategist showcases the practical application of stoic principles in achieving personal and professional success. Professional athlete Tom Brady, widely regarded as one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history, also incorporates stoic habits into his routine. Brady practices mindfulness to stay present and focused during high-pressure games. By concentrating on each play and blocking out distractions, he maintains mental clarity and peak performance. Additionally, Brady uses negative visualization to prepare for potential setbacks and challenges on the field. This mental preparation reduces his fear of failure and enhances his ability to adapt and overcome obstacles. Brady's disciplined approach and mental resilience have contributed significantly to his long and successful career. Another inspiring example is Malala Yousafzai, the youngest Nobel Prize laureate and education activist. After surviving a brutal attack by the Taliban, Malala demonstrated immense courage and resilience by continuing her advocacy for girls' education. She practices self-control by focusing on her mission and not letting fear or anger dictate her actions. Despite facing ongoing threats and adversity, Malala remains composed and dedicated to her cause. Her ability to maintain self-control and focus on her goals exemplifies the strength of character that stoic habits can cultivate. These real-world examples show that integrating stoic habits into our lives can lead to profound mental strength and resilience. Whether it's through focusing on what we can control, practicing gratitude, embracing discomfort, or maintaining mindfulness, these principles offer practical strategies to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure. By learning from the experiences of individuals like Admiral Stockdale, J. K., Rowling, Ryan Holiday, Tom Brady, and Malala Yousafzai, we can find inspiration and guidance to cultivate our own mental fortitude and face life's uncertainties with confidence. Let's hear from some of our viewers who have embraced stoic habits in their own lives. Jessica shared her experience saying, practicing daily reflection has completely transformed my mindset. By taking a few minutes each evening to think about my day, I've become more self-aware and better able to handle stress. It's amazing how such a simple practice can make such a big difference. Another viewer, Mark, mentioned, focusing on what I can control has been a game changer for me. I used to get overwhelmed by things outside of my control, but now I take a step back and concentrate on my actions and responses. It's helped me feel more empowered and less stressed. Sarah, who has been practicing gratitude, said, Writing down three things I'm grateful for every day has shifted my perspective. Even on tough days, I find something positive to appreciate, and it has made me more resilient and content with my life. David shared his journey with voluntary discomfort. I started with small challenges like cold showers and fasting, and over time, I've noticed a significant increase in my mental toughness. These practices have made me more confident in handling life's bigger challenges. Emily talked about the impact of mindfulness. Incorporating mindfulness into my daily routine has helped me stay present and focused. 
I used to worry a lot about the future, but now I find peace in the present moment, which has greatly improved my emotional balance. John, who practices negative visualization, mentioned, thinking about potential challenges and how I would handle them has reduced my fear of the unknown. It has prepared me mentally for difficult situations and made me more confident in facing them. Hannah, who journals regularly, said, Journaling has been a powerful tool for me to process my thoughts and emotions. It has helped me gain clarity and find solutions to problems, making me feel more in control of my life. Mike shared how embracing change has helped him. I used to resist change, but now I see it as an opportunity for growth. By accepting that everything is temporary, I've become more adaptable and less anxious about the future. Olivia, who practices self-control, said, Setting small, achievable goals and practicing mindfulness has strengthened my self-control. I've become more disciplined and better at making choices that align with my values. Lastly, Ben talked about the influence of role models. Finding and learning from role models has been incredibly inspiring. Their experiences and wisdom have provided me with valuable guidance and motivation to cultivate a resilient mindset. These testimonials show the real impact of integrating stoic habits into daily life. By sharing their experiences, our viewers provide inspiration and tangible evidence of the benefits of stoic practices, helping us see how these timeless principles can lead to profound mental strength and resilience. If you're inspired by the principles we've discussed and want to delve deeper into Stoicism, we have some excellent resources to recommend. Let's start with classic texts. The works of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus are foundational. Meditations by Marcus Aurelius is a personal journal of one of the most powerful men of his time, filled with reflections on how to live a virtuous life. It's powerful because it offers a glimpse into the daily application of Stoic principles. Next, Letters from a Stoic by Seneca is a collection of moral letters that are both practical and profound, offering advice on various aspects of life, from handling stress to developing inner strength. Epictetus's The Enchiridion is another must-read, a concise handbook that distills the essence of Stoicism into practical advice. For modern interpretations, consider The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. This book provides daily meditations based on Stoic teachings, making it easy to incorporate Stoic reflections into your daily routine. Ryan Holiday's The Obstacle is the Way is another great read that applies Stoic principles to overcoming challenges and turning adversity into advantage. If you prefer articles, websites like The Daily Stoic and Modern Stoicism offer a wealth of information, including essays, guides, and courses. The Daily Stoic website, in particular, provides daily emails with Stoic insights and practical tips. Podcasts can also be a fantastic way to learn more about Stoicism. The Daily Stoic Podcast by Ryan Holiday offers short, insightful episodes that explore Stoic philosophy and how it applies to modern life. For those who enjoy interactive learning, consider joining online communities or participating in Stoic Week, an annual event hosted by Modern Stoicism that guides participants through a week of Stoic practices and reflections. Finally, don't overlook the power of group discussions and book clubs. Engaging with others who are exploring Stoicism can provide support, diverse perspectives, and deepen your understanding of the philosophy. Whether you're reading ancient texts, listening to modern interpretations, or engaging with a community, these resources will help you integrate Stoicism more deeply into your life and build an unbreakable mind. In summary, we have explored 10 powerful Stoic habits that can help you build mental strength and resilience. Let's recap them briefly. First, daily reflection allows us to gain deeper insights into our thoughts and actions, fostering self-awareness and continuous improvement. Second, focusing on what you can control reduces stress and empowers you to take meaningful actions. Third, Practicing gratitude shifts our perspective to appreciate the positives in life, enhancing our emotional resilience. 
Fourth, embracing voluntary discomfort trains our minds to handle adversity with grace and fortitude. Fifth, practicing mindfulness keeps us anchored in the present moment, improving our mental clarity and balance. Sixth, negative visualization prepares us mentally for challenges, reducing fear and increasing our confidence. Seventh, journaling helps us process our thoughts and emotions, providing valuable insights for personal growth. Eighth, embracing change allows us to adapt and grow from life's transitions with a resilient mindset. Ninth, practicing self-control helps us maintain discipline and make choices that align with our values. Tenth, finding role models offers inspiration and practical examples for building a virtuous and resilient life. Each of these habits complements the others, creating a holistic approach to mental strength. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you can cultivate an unbreakable mind capable of navigating life's uncertainties with confidence and composure. Remember, the journey to mental strength is continuous, requiring patience, persistence, and a willingness to grow. So, take the first step today. Start small, set achievable goals, and gradually build these habits into your life. Whether it's setting aside a few minutes for daily reflection, practicing gratitude, or finding inspiration from role models, every small effort contributes to your mental fortitude. We encourage you to embrace these stoic principles and make them a part of your journey towards a stronger, more resilient mind. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Stoicism. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights on living a mentally strong and fulfilling life. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's build an unbreakable mind together. In summary, we have explored 10 powerful stoic habits that can help you build mental strength and resilience. These habits include daily reflection, focusing on what you can control, practicing gratitude, embracing voluntary discomfort, practicing mindfulness, negative visualization, journaling, embracing change, practicing self-control, and finding role models. Each of these habits complements the others, creating a holistic approach to mental strength. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you can cultivate an unbreakable mind capable of navigating life's uncertainties with confidence and composure. Remember, the journey to mental strength is continuous, requiring patience, persistence, and a willingness to grow. So, take the first step today. Start small, set achievable goals, and gradually build these habits into your life. Whether it's setting aside a few minutes for daily reflection, practicing gratitude, or finding inspiration from role models, every small effort contributes to your mental fortitude. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of Stoicism. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights on living a mentally strong and fulfilling life. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will dive deeper into specific Stoic practices and how you can apply them to various aspects of your life. Let's continue building an unbreakable mind together.